Hi everyone, I hope you're all staying healthy and doing well, and I hope you're enjoying the warm weather we finally get after, after what seems like forever of a long cold winter. Uh, if you don't know me, my name is Drew Cole and I'm a junior at Gettysburg High School. And this week I was tasked with talking about how my faith and how my spirit has driven me over the past year and what angels have had a positive impact on my life and how they have gotten me through the tough times. So obviously COVID-19 has affected everyone in different ways, whether that be you lost a loved one or you lost your job or even the mental strain that we've all had on us, staying isolated from everyone, not being able to see your friends, having to wear a mask everywhere, not being able to see anybody. Um, but my my personal experience with COVID-19 was my grandma contracting COVID-19 and almost dying. And miraculously, she didn't, and she's still alive and doing well. But that experience caused me to reflect on spirit and faith and strengthen my connection with God. So a few months ago, around the beginning of summer, she got COVID-19. We don't know where she would have gotten it from. She stayed isolated, but that's just what happens. She just got it. Um, and so over the first few, over the first like week, it was just a, she had a mild cough, mild symptoms, and my grandpa had the same symptoms as well. Uh, about two weeks in, my grandpa didn't have any symptoms anymore, and he was considered clear of COVID. Uh, but my grandma's sim symptoms stayed. And so for about the next week, they just progressively got worse and to, uh, to a point where she, we had to admit her into the local hospital in her town. And it started out as something that she just needed treatment for, just, you know, medicine, um, staff to help her. And it wasn't anything serious, but as she stayed in the hospital, her condition got worse to a point where she needed to be admitted to a hospital in Pittsburgh with a larger staff, uh, larger funding, something that could occupy her better. So as time went on, it got worse to a point where we felt the need that she needed to be on a ventilator. And it took a men massive mental strain because every day, some days she'd be doing a lot better and improving, and other days she'd be a lot worse and seeming like things were gonna turn out well. But every night we prayed and we hoped and we kept faith that she was gonna pull through and her condition got worse, but but hopefully we were still holding out hope that she would she would pull through. And so about a month after she contracted COVID nineteen, she went on a ventilator, and she was on the ventilator for thirty days. And I remember during that time, I would wake up in the morning, I would go on a run in the morning, and I would just wait anxiously to hear news about her and what my parents had to say. Um, but over time, her condition got worse and started to look like things were going to turn out well. Uh, to a point where we actually had a FaceTime call with her and talked to her and basically said our final goodbyes and had to say that we loved her. Um, and we knew she was going to a better place and things were going to turn out well no matter what happened. But it was definitely a hard time and it was sad and it's something that I don't look forward to doing at some point in my life again. Um, but we always kept the faith and always had hope that she was going to pull through. Uh, and miraculously, one day, her condition dramatically improved and she was able to get through it. And now she she's living her best life. Um, she doesn't have any lasting effects that we don't think of yet. Uh, so that's good. And she has improved. So that's great. But how what that taught me was, first off, that you never want to give up the faith. You always want to you always want to keep hoping, you always want to pray, and there's always a way that things can get better. But what it also taught me and showed me was that there's angels in our, in our country and in the world that you don't often think of, and that being the healthcare workers that helped her through it. Um, putting their lives at risk, they were in contact with my grandma who had COVID-19 um, every single day for months, and having to tend to her every need, going to the bathroom, eating, drinking, and just being there for moral support. And I think a lot of the time people just think that these healthcare workers, just that they're happy being there. And I'm sure they're happy helping people, but they have families, they have kids, they have people that they attend to in their own lives, but they still choose to help the people who need help. 
And I think that's what represents a true hero. And I think that they are the angels in my life who helped my grandma survive. Um, without them, I don't think my grandma would have gotten through it. She was in a horrible place. And she even still remembers she was in a medically induced coma on the ventilator for for a month. But she still she still remembers like the vision she had while she was out um, of like people helping her. And that's one of the only things she remembers. And I think that speaks volume to how much of an influence they had on her and her recovery and just being able to help. And so I think that as as COVID continues and as the pandemic continues, we need to remember and reflect on the angels in our in our country and in the world, that being the healthcare workers and how they have how they have allowed us to continue functioning, how they have saved loved ones and how they have how they have had a positive impact on my life and everyone else's life. So remember to keep the faith, remember to keep hoping, remember to pray and reflect on the people in our lives who help us the most.